Well, I never heard your story of how you got into this. Um, you... I was, yeah, so back in, I want to say June 2020, um, I was so severely, uh, I, I was in a really severe flare of my ulcerative colitis, which is the first time that had ever happened. And it was severe enough that I literally, basically, I had no energy and I couldn't, you know, I was trying to do, I was trying to do the workout routine that I had been doing. I couldn't do anything. I mean, I was, I was all but bedridden. Um, and so I was looking for things that I could do without, you know, that like I could literally do from zero. Uh, cause I just, I had no energy and was and like, you know, standing, I was all, I was supremely anemic at the time too. So like standing would make me dizzy. Um, and so I stumbled on, um, I don't remember the name right now, but at first I stumbled on, uh, one of those old, you know, probably from it, at least no earlier than the, or no later than the nineties, probably the eighties or so. Uh, one of the older video British videos talking about, you know, here's this, you know, stand and be fit. I was like, sure, you know what, I, maybe this is something I can do. Um, yep. And so I, that was my first exposure. And so then I kind of was searching for more and more, you know, like, okay, where, you know, who, what, where can I get more information? Um, and then I eventually, as I was searching, at some point I found somebody I think I saw somebody on Reddit who recommended uh, that recommended songs channel on YouTube. So that was how I found it initially. Hmm. Um, and that, and that was perfect because I was looking for, you know, a, a combination of ways to learn and also, you know, expand the practice and, and, you know, do it for longer periods of time. And so that was kind of exactly what I was looking for then. Took me about, I think it took me about somewhere between like eight months and a year to get to the point of being able to stand for 60 minutes. But yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, it's been, God, it's been so helpful. <laughs> it's been so, so helpful. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I came to it through health because I, I needed something that I could reliably do and that didn't make me feel like crap doing it <laughs> yeah yeah i think it's a good exercise for people who sort of suffer like uh fatigue a lot of fatigue time mm -hmm. i'm sure it'll be good for long covid and that sort of stuff yeah, yeah. i can imagine yeah no but been super useful it's been super helpful for me so so Lyle, what would you say like the most you get from Zendron? like what you know honestly probably i mean it's tough to pick one thing um they're one of the, the honestly i let's think um among among probably the most beneficial things uh, so it was use it was incredibly helpful and useful for me in figuring out where something was off in my body and being able to you know and it's not and, and you know look to some extent there's like okay I was having some pain in my right it's a, it was almost pain some pain in light in my right knee and I couldn't figure out why there wasn't really any adjustments that made sense. And, you know, I was trying to strengthen and I was doing some strengthening exercises and it didn't make much of a difference. And so, you know, it took, it was a combination of knowing that, okay, when I'm in this position, this thing happens, why does this happen? And then taking that to somebody else who could actually put hands on me and go, okay, here's what's happening. You know, I, you know, but I wouldn't have checked for it unless you knew to tell me that this was, you know, happening. 
So that's been really helpful. Just, you know, going, okay, where in my body is something not quite as free as it should be. And then I can kind of take that information to my other healthcare practitioners and they can kind of look and help me figure it out. That's super useful. Um, honestly though, just like the, the, the strength and stamina and everything else more so than anything else, really. Um, I'm still, ama I, I'm still amazed at how strong I've gotten doing this because I wouldn't have it. Like, like, it's one of those things where it's like, I understand why it works. I totally get it. But it's also one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm not doing burpees or, you know, anything like that every day. But if I go and do something like that, yeah, I can hand, I can do it just fine. No problem. Plenty strong. So it's just like, huh, you know, that part to me is always surprising. And so just, you know, literally in, in pretty much doing anything, I just, it, I also just love the, the way it makes me feel. Um, I would definitely say that that's another huge benefit is just, you know, and having a daily practice like this is so helpful mentally, physically, yeah, those are probably the biggest things.